Our other big story tonight, the Confederate battle flag is no longer flying at the South Carolina State House. The ceremony to remove it lasted only six minutes. It was taken down as thousands cheered. We begin our live team coverage of this historic moment with News 13's Aaron Adelson. Aaron, what did South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley have to say? She says the State House belongs to everybody, and she says nobody should feel pain seeing it, and nobody should have to stay away because of a flag. Haley calls it a hopeful day. More than 50 years after going up, the flag comes down. A big crowd watches. I think what's happened in South Carolina over the last couple of days and weeks has been, has been something special. A non-violent crowd. I can't even explain how I feel. Probably very, very peaceful. Very peaceful. But not everybody supports the flag's removal. What you've taken away is a group of people's rights. What the Confederate battle flag means now and what it meant in the 1860s has changed. Asheville historian Rob Newfeld says there was a lot of propaganda before the Civil War. Newfeld says plantation owners told foot soldiers what they wanted them to hear. You know, there was a saying even back then, a rich man's war and a poor man's fight. In April, Dylan Roth visited Greenville's Confederate History Museum. Director Mike Couch does not think taking the flag down fixes anything. The flag's not the issue. Never has been. The didn't, flag didn't shoot anybody. But investigators say Roth did, and he was photographed waving the Confederate flag. Supporters say taking it down is a positive step forward. They outnumbered those against. Crowd chanted, take it down, take it down in anticipation. I haven't seen this type of togetherness my entire life. I'm 40. And then they got what they wanted. Fat, the flag will be moved to a Confederate museum. That's where Governor Nikki Haley says it belongs.